Today is April the 29th, 2019, and I wanted to do this video to share with you um, information, a download that I'm receiving that I feel is very, very important um, to prevent unnecessary anger and frustration. Um, first of all, because of the photons that are coming to Earth as a result of all of the astrological changes from whether you believe that there are two suns, one sun, an artificial sun, and a real sun, um, that the moon is artificial, that there is a projection of a moon, um, which is why the moon phases are no longer where they're supposed to be. No matter what you believe, we all know that astrologically, there have been some changes, okay? And the pyramid, the Great Pyramids of Egypt reflect the Orion's belt. But if you look at the Great Pyramids, since we discovered the Mandela Effect, you'll see that two of the pyramids are twin sizes. And to me, that just points to changes in Orion's belt as well, as above, so below. So with that being said, as a lot of the light codes Phil Valentine talked about, these photons are, if you can look at them as a transference of data from one device to another. These are upgrades that we are receiving. With these upgrades, um, we're manifesting a body that is no longer carbon based, but more crystalline in structure which means a lot of the dense, heavy foods, dense, heavy activities, events, things that we used to do are no longer beneficial for us to do them. So our temple, our body is screaming at us and constantly communicating with us so that we can um, acclimate or attune or readjust ourselves according to the energetic transfers that we are receiving in the age of Aquarius in the age of many many prophecies manifesting so this means that I'm gonna give you an example there may have been some foods you used to eat and now you can't stand them you hate them right and you do a little research and you'll find out that whatever that particular food was, was toxic, not good for you, and leads to all kinds of sickness and disease and many other things. And so you're like, hmm, no wonder I stopped eating that. No wonder I didn't like it anymore. You didn't consciously know what was wrong with the food. All you knew was you were no longer comfortable eating that food and you became sensitive um, to whatever that is, whether you it's a dislike or like, because we are also gaining an appetite for things that we did not have an appetite for beforehand. These are these are manifesting because of the changes happening within the body. Um, so as our light body is more and more activated, we're having to make adjustments in in our in our world so that the light body is in an environment that is going to lead to growth and not stagnation. A lot of us are experiencing depression because of these changes, the mind and the body can no longer use the things from the past, which were coping mechanisms, things that were comforting and therapeutic for you, some of those things are no longer beneficial for us. And depression is your body's way of letting you know that you're not in alignment with the upgrade. That you need to attune yourself again. So there's no specific way to know exactly when we need to do chakra cleansing, attunement, grounding, balancing, um, strengthening. There's really no specific dates and times that I could give you all when this happened, but 
seems like what we call the witching hour and the late hours through the night that's when I'm experiencing a lot of the effects of these light codes that we're receiving um, and so what you can start doing the shadow work slash self love that we presented to you all in the last video by doing that that is allowing you to attune and to readjust yourself according to the energetic shifts you're making it tangible you're putting it on paper and this becomes like a map for you to guide you through your spiritual awakening it also gives an outlet to a voice that did not have a voice before so for some of us that means reparenting our inner child and for others that means healing our bodies a lot of us are being called to self-heal right now which is why so many natural physicians natural paths have come up dead the last time i checked the numbers it was upwards of the 90s of how many suspicious deaths and suicides have occurred of people who were stepping forward to teach us how to heal thyself without chemicals without medications um, the powers that be know that once we learn these tools and resources to heal ourselves once we return to some of the ancient knowledge wisdom and technology of old that their control over us is going to be loosened and eventually come to an end that is where we are so if you um find things changing about yourself maybe you used to sleep too much now you're not sleeping enough maybe you used to eat too much now you're not really having an appetite all of these different changes know that they are here to help us not to harm us they are here to help us um these things are an answer to the collective prayer uh, what we call meta praying on this channel is like a combination of meditation and praying um, but collectively the energy and the grounding and the work that we are doing some called light workers I call them light workers and dark workers because you can be either or and you can use both of them um, for bent for the benefit um, of them so with that being said um, this is actually a manifestation of what our souls have been needing to become whole and no longer be fragmented the best way to move through this without these ties which i spoke about in the last energetic shift update these ties that are coming is just practicing relaxation practicing calmness practicing being in the ebb and flow of things uh, harnessing high vibration using anything you can that increases your vibration uh, living out of your heart and not out of your mind healing trauma so that you no longer are passing the trauma on um, and acknowledging every part of yourself and acknowledging all of your needs and meeting those needs these things are very important for us to go through these energetic shifts and there are some huge ones coming and this is something I've been feeling and I didn't want to share this because it just is it is heavy just knowing this but one like code that I received and I haven't got confirmation on this sometimes I wait on confirmation before I share something but I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you all the people who are not taking heed to their temple right because your temple houses God right whatever you identify God as whatever name you use the temple houses God so for the people who are abandoning neglecting and abusing the temple they will suffer the repercussions of that and for the people who are practicing being intuitive empathic and practicing self-realization self-actualization people who are looking within themselves to know thyself, people who are working on themselves and growing those of us who are doing that those of us who are willing to let go of things that no longer serve us we're willing to let go of tradition we're willing to let go of religion we're really willing to let go of beliefs that no longer serve us as we are letting go of foods and anything that no longer serves us we're allowing this purge to happen the this group of people will be the group of people who will not only survive in the new earth 
but they will thrive in the new earth. For the people who are resisting these changes is only making it more difficult for them. And what's going to happen is they're um, kind of locking themselves in the 3D grid unconsciously. And they don't know that that's what they're doing. That's why so many movies and TV shows about the walking dead. That's what the walking dead really is. It's not the zombies that we've been shown on TV that just eat anything. And, you know, everything is just on a program of being a zombie. Um, but if you really look at it, that the uh, the group of people, I'll call it group A and group B. The group B people um, pretty much are eating anything that they want to eat, just like the zombies do. They pretty much are following a program, just like the zombies do. They pretty much are walking the path in which many other people are walking, just like zombies do. The only time you would see one separated from the group, where if something happened and they were separated from the group, but otherwise they move as a clan, they move as a tribe, they move as a legion, right? Um, so for those of us who are walking away from what's popular, we're walking away from acceptable traditions and beliefs, and we're going and venturing into these unknown places, well, these unknown places are becoming a sanctuary for us. And so if you are walking a road that is least traveled, and you are walking a path that no one else you know has, has ever walked, be encouraged to know that that path is definitely presenting itself to you in this time to help you integrate yourself into your higher self. So that's why it's important. And I want to give one other example. They're like Sudafed, for example. I used to take Sudafed and it didn't bother me at all. Now when I take Sudafed, I have all these negative side effects. And I was like, I don't understand what's going on. And it's because my light body is rejecting the Sudafed. Because it probably was doing more damage than good. And because our light body, which is being activated, is more intuitive than the physical body that we have been existing in um it's going to communicate to us in a much stronger way and the best way to communicate to a people who are just now waking up um is using pain discomfort suffering depression uh things that have a very low vibration it's kind of like bass you know what i'm saying and it just kind of rumbles and resonates and rumbles and rumbles until you finally give your attention to it and make whatever adjustments are necessary to ease the rumbling um so i think that that is it i don't want to talk too long because I, I want you all to be able to listen to this digest this receive this get your own light codes because whenever you're listening to someone share a light code it is going it's like a building block and it's another piece to the puzzle it's another um, step on Jacob's ladder to lead you into your highest self. And so that's why light codes are important and channels that I watch that I share with you all. That's why those messages are so important because that is what's going to give you access to the data that you are receiving from the light codes coming from the, the, the cosmos. So accept the changes trust the process know that the universe has heard our cries and is answering those cries and know that wherever you are it is perfectly okay doesn't matter how many people were your friends that are now your enemies or whatever wherever you are everything is okay and it's going to be okay regardless of how it looks hold on to that thought like grip that thought you know, like, <laughs> you got it in a chokehold. Don't let that thought go. And when it leaves you, other thoughts come in, just remind yourself, everything is okay. Everything is going to work out. Everything is working out for my highest good, for the greater good of humanity and myself. Because I have been practicing having a vibration um, that will attract the things that my heart desires. And, um, yeah, so just keep doing that. I hope that um, this resonates with some of you. If it did, let us know. Drop your comment down below 
or you can inbox us at remnantsgathering at gmail.com and for those of you who would like to give a donation you can find us on paypal under remnants gathering actually it's under the email khan2479 at gmail because i don't know how to change the name and cash app is under remnants gathering so we're not really uh, shouldn't be difficult to find um so thank you so much just for supporting the channel taking the time to listen to us we are preparing to make some changes as far as how we share information we've been talking about this for the last year that's still in the works and in preparation so if there's anything specific that you all feel um like you like there's a need that you feel me and Ernest can meet for you drop it below because again we are kind of figuring out what it is we had to offer the world but the only way we can know that is by getting feedback from you all and communicating with you so let us know and um we'll be sure to include that into our plans and our poll and de determining what's the most what are the most important things that people need right now and um yeah i think that's it so thank y'all peace love y'all we are holding virtual hands with y'all we are the bridge from 3D Matrix to higher dimensions of understanding. And we are definitely with you. You are not alone. Intimately, affectionately, heart chakra wide open, sending love towards you. And know that when you get a light code from us.